Hi, welcome to um, part one of my scrolling platformer series. It's kind of part seven, I believe, of the platformer series. Um, because we're going to use the platformer script for what we're going to make, which is a scrolling platformer. Okay. Um, we, you might want to save your platformer, so I'm, I am going to. So I'm going to save this as a copy. And so the original one gets saved onto a new project. Or it really doesn't, but this one gets copied and saved and so we can do what we want with it so copying the project and then it's going to see it's copied great so I'm gonna call this wait scrolling platformer and we're gonna see how we do this it's not smooth scrolling yet this is just the first video so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the ground and you're gonna basically design the level however you want for your scrolling platformer and for the first level. All I'm going to do is make the ground actually scroll. We're not going to be doing anything fancy like that. And for that, I'm going to delete all of these levels because, well, we um, are making a scrolling platform. So, this is going to do. We're just going to basically draw what we want. Something like that. We can have a slope. Uh, that's two. Like that. Be down like that. And up like that. Okay. We just drew kind of a little level for the platform player. And for the player, we're going to not have a level right now. So this doesn't matter. We're not going to have any of this. We are going to have this. And we're also not going to have this red thing. We're going to kind of get rid of all that. We can keep everything else. And now, in here, we're going to go to the end of this. And we're going to say, we're going to make two new variables called scroll x for all sprites and scroll y for all sprites and these two variables are going to be kind of the variables on how far right and left and up and down you are going um but the thing about them is that you don't really know the only thing that you can tell on is the background so the background's gonna or the background is gonna move according to where we are but we're gonna stay in the center so, how we're going to do that is we're going to say, go to zero, zero at the end. Um, and we're just going to stay in the center. So, if we try this, we're just always in the center. Uh, if we turn move, it won't move. Only the eyes move kind of according to where we're going. But, that's it. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change... Scroll X and change scroll Y, and we're going to change those by the X position and the Y position. And one thing you have to always remember to do is at the beginning, we are going to set the X value and Y value to zero, but we're also going to have to set the scroll X and scroll Y to zero, which means we're going to go to the center. So if we start this, Right there, and you can kind of see with the scroll X, we're moving and the things are moving, but the problem with it is it doesn't look like we're moving, and that's because we have to go to the ground and say forever while we're switching the costume to the level, but really we don't even want to have that. Um, what we do want to have is we want to have us going to um, scroll X and scroll Y, like that. And now, when we're doing, we're stuck inside the ground for some reason. Um, we didn't set the scroll X and scroll Y to zero, or we did, we should have. We set the scroll X to zero, and it just zooms over there. 
So, this can be kind of fixed just by changing the level a bit. So, we're moving up. Um, I think the reason why this is happening is because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the scroll Y by minus 1. And we're also going to have to change the scroll X by minus 1 because we haven't really tested it, but we're actually moving um, the opposite direction of where we should be going. There we go. So, look at that. We'll move down, and we're moving, and it's kind of a scrolling platform where we can move, and it's... Like we're moving a scrolling platformer. It's not. It's just a scrolling platformer. Which I really like. And because that was the problem. We can change the level back. And the reason why I'm going to change the level back. Is because. For some reason I can't reach it. There we go. Now one thing you may have noticed. Is in. We had a tail before. But the tail's not working. Why is that? Well, that's because the tail is behind the actual player. If you notice, the player is always in the center. Always on 0-0. Zero, zero. So, you're never really going to notice that the tail should be moving behind you. But that's because it's staying where the player is. It looks like we're moving, but it's just the background moving. It's not us moving at all. Like that. Okay. So, we can go to the player now. And we have this Starza clone. Now, I'm going to make two variables called x, or I'll call it clone x. For the sprite only, it's very important you do for the sprite only for this one. And clone y, which also is for the sprite only and also very important you click that. Um, we're going to uncheck those too. And we're going to set the clone x and the clone y to zero um and what we're gonna do or what we're gonna do is actually we're going to set it to scroll x and scroll y this should work i'm not 100 percent sure this will work um and if it does not we'll make it work somehow hopefully <laughs> okay so we're setting the clone to scroll x and scroll y and now we're also going to go to, in this repeat, we're going to go to, um, a minus, I believe it's minus, clone x minus scroll x, and clone y minus scroll y, like that. Yeah, look at that, we have our tail. The tail is not 100% moving. Um, it's on the, in the exact center. And it's just moving kind of on the outside. It will stay in the center if we're not moving. But if we start to move, the tail will be right on behind us. So this is kind of something that I noticed a lot of platformers have this tail, which is kind of cool. But they really don't always have the tail on scrolling platformers. In fact, very rarely do they have the um, tail on scrolling platformers because... Look at that, we can go on the top. That's something we're going to have to fix. Um, but, yeah, very rarely they have this tail because... Uh-oh. Sometimes you might want to have that in a game, but we're going to have to fix that. Um, but anyway, yeah. Very rarely do they have this tail because it is complicated to add. And that's why I was not 100% sure that uh, it will work because... Um, it, it's it's complicated um, in that you don't know where you want the tail to go and you don't know how you're moving up and down. But it was very simple. We it seemed complicated, but we got it working. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, why are we being able to stick on the bottom? Well, it's because before it had a Y that we were able to move up and down by wherever we were, but it doesn't know that anymore. It doesn't know that we're in the air or not. And so when it doesn't know that we're moving upward or downward. And so when we're moving upward, they think we might be on the ground. And so it's just going to stay there. And so that's something we're going to have to fix in the next video. Or we'll have to fix it as soon as possible. Um, so...
yeah thank you for watching please remember to subscribe uh in the next video we're gonna try to make this a little bit smoother hopefully um and maybe fix a couple of glitches like this one um and other than that that'd be it thank you for watching please remember to subscribe and follow can code